that. We are underperforming the Asian markets to some ex extent. Nikkei is up close to about 2.5%. But uh, the stock which is dragging on the indices today is Aurobindo Pharma. It's lost close to about 3.5% in trade and now below its 50-day 50 uh, average as well. This is our Movers and Shakers segment. All our colleagues are here with us. Anekta, uh, on Aurobindo first. Yes, absolutely. Well, I think the management commentary was a bit... Um, <laughs> on the downside this time for Aurobindo, which is resulting in that little bit of a subdued reaction. So, for example, the management did say that oral solid price erosion, which is basically generic drug price erosion in the U.S., was high. At, according to Andes, at least, it was high at around 7% on a sequential basis. They're seeing hyper-competition in the U.S. Um, at this point in time, it is a hyper-competitive scenario with the likes of even consolidation amongst vendors, which has taken place. According to the management, they will see pricing pressure in the first six months of the year and they would be able to however maintain a growth momentum despite pressure in the US business according to the management now additionally Lupin should also come up for you because um, uh, consequently there was a statement by Aurobindo which would impact the Lupin operations as well where Aurobindo said that they would look to launch the generic version of Fortimet which is basically a diabetes drug in the US markets by FI18 itself. Now, yesterday, Lupin had mentioned on their conference call that uh, they are not expecting Aurobindo to launch the Fortimed generic version at least until the 30-month stay, which is a regular procedure, gets over, which would probably be in 2019. Now, because it is an exp uh, because the possible timeline of the launch has come up, it's negative for Lupin because, remember, Fortimed is one of the most important diabetes drugs along with Glumetsa for Lupin. Glumetsa is already seeing competition and now Fortimed is possibly going to see competition earlier than anticipated. Both these drugs together are around 30 to 40% of the EBITDA currently.